I'm creating the new best superhero mod and I need your help. Have you ever been frustrated by how Minecraft superhero mods confine you to the superheroes they choose? And you gain the powers of the hero just by putting on the suit. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but wearing a suit is usually not what gives you the powers. I would know. This mod will allow you to acquire your powers like a real superhero and mix and match them to your heart's desire. Not only that, but utilizing Minecraft's new armor trim system, you'll be able to fully customize your own superhero suit with emblems of comic book heroes and generic designs created by our community. It is episode 3 of the Superhero Plus Showcase, and today... We have a pretty small update, but a pretty significant one. If you can't tell, I am dressed like the Reverse Flash, because we are about to have super speed. There's a new item right here, crafted like this, two syringes, one experimental vaccine, and two sugar, to make the Velocity X formula. Yes, Velocity X from the Flash TV show, and if we inject it into our veins and hit slash, summon lightning, obviously if you're in survival you have to get struck by lightning naturally, we gain permanent super speed. Uh, Velocity X gives you speed 3 as well, so even if you want to use it for just a buff without actually having super speed, you can do that too. But the way super speed works in this mod is that the longer you run consistently, the faster you go. So you will see that I slowly start to speed up. The reason for this is because super speed is really hard to control in a video game. Same reason why we don't have any good flash games in existence is because if we were to play a video game and actually go as fast as the flash, they would either need to slow it down and use flash time, which would make the gameplay boring, or they would have to just nerf the flash and make him super slow. So we went with progressive speed and it gets up to about speed 50, I think. So we're just going to start running and see how fast we can go until eventually after about 15 seconds of running, you will break the sound barrier. So now you are invisible and you are running. When you're not wearing armor, it looks a lot cooler, but uh, I also think this is nice. And once you've broken the sound barrier for 15 seconds, you will gain a second speedster ability called Dimensional Travel. It looks like I already gave it to myself before the before I was filming, that's my bad. But you will gain a new ability called Dimensional Travel right here. And every time you now break the sound barrier, you will be able to teleport between dimensions. So let's break the sound barrier real quick. Run, Barry, run! I mean, run, Eobard doesn't flow as well. Go, 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 go! There we go, and now we can go between the nether and the end. Let's choose end. There we go. It took a second to load the end because this is my first time being here on this world, but we have made it to the end, and now, to escape, we have to do it again, or kill the Ender Dragon, but uh, I don't feel like killing the Ender Dragon, so let's do the and try this again. So, with the rough terrain, we can try to maintain our speed by using Super Leaping. Let's see if we can pull this off. Go, 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 go. Go! Oh. So you will be teleported back into the overworld at the exact coordinates that you teleported from, which means you're going to have to be a little bit careful uh, when you're doing this, but uh, we're superheroes, it's not like we're going to die. The last additional ability of super speed is the infinite mass punch. If you punch a mob while you are past the sound barrier, it'll insta-kill any mob except the ender dragon. I don't know why it doesn't work on the ender dragon, it was unintended that it worked that way. Uh, but I guess M Creator was just trying to balance me. Uh, so let's try to... PUNCH! Oh crap. Okay, 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 we're gonna... PUNCH! Uh, PUNCH! You'll know when it works because it'll make an explosion sound. There we go. And when you do the infinite mass punch, it forces you to stop running so that you can't chain them together because that would be a little OP. So yeah, infinite mass punch in Minecraft at super speed after breaking the sound barrier. Now, we have to go prepare for our duel. I have no idea who I'm dueling this episode, but uh, let's go find that out. Okay, so we are in an ancient city because rather than duel someone today, our goal is to kill a warden with an infinite mass punch. That is the goal, uh, so let's do this. First, we have to activate all our powers to turn us into the Reverse Flash. So, he can definitely interdimensional travel, but we're not going to need that. So let's do super speed, super leaping, he has... 
a little bit of enhanced strength, so we'll go with that. Healing factor, he actually has all of these powers. Uh, maybe I've just been designing the Flash with the powers I've chosen so far. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's actually turn off energy constructs. I'm not going to need that. Uh, everything else I will, in fact, need. Okay. The hard part is going to be building up enough speed without hitting anything, because we're going to be blind, like, the whole time. So how do we do this? Oh, this might be the strat. We can, uh, avoid moving too fast by doing this. Am I gaining speed? Oh! I did it! Yes! Oh my gosh, infinite mass punch! That wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to one-shot the warden, download the Superhero Plus mod in the description below, or install the new snapshots and hit them with the mace. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you all for watching.